Welcome to the Paint Estimator. This is an updated version on how to create proposals. The last video is a few years old and there's been many changes. Um, so basically after you get your estimate kind of figured out, you're now ready to create a proposal. Just go ahead and click this tab. If this is the first time using this for proposals, you're probably going to want to set some stuff up like adding your logo, choosing which version of Office. Um, if you're using PDF to create your proposals, all your settings will be on this one page. Pretty much Microsoft Office is the rest of the stuff. Um, anyway, so after you add your logo and set everything up, just go ahead and click the exit and you're now ready to create a proposal. The top toolbar here, the PDF button is basically saying we're going to be creating proposals in PDF, so we want to make sure that's selected. If we're doing in Microsoft Office, we want to make sure it says Word. Uh, the reason why is this Word and PDF render the text a little bit different. Um, PDF versions, you can usually have a little more information per page. Um, the 0% full is letting you know how much you have left on this page before you have to create a new page for your proposals. Uh, symbols, you can add a few symbols to it. Uh, left, center, right justifications, your undo, redo, your color box, fonts, spell checker. Uh, we'll go over this button in just a second. Um, so basically when you're creating a proposal, you're writing a description what you're going to do. Um, on the left hand side here is, is the customer's name, address, the price and all that stuff, the payment schedule, just make sure that's all filled in. Um, so we're going to type a description of what we're going to do. This particular job is for an outside stucco house. Um, so we'll just basically we're going to try to write as much detail on what we're going to do for this customer. Um, what I've done down here is, is you'll find yourself typing the same stuff over and over as you keep generating proposals is um, so you can save some of that stuff down here so you only have to type it once and you can select it from a list. Uh, for example, we're going to start off this job by pressure washing so I will choose pressure wash and select it. That way I don't have to type it over again. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, so you can just go ahead and just fill out all your information, what you're going to do for this particular job. I'm just going to use the basic stuff that I've used. Stucco. Um, we'll scrape all loose stucco. We'll patch where needed. All her link hacks. Yeah, so, so forth. Um, finished product. Um... Period there. Finished product. Leave it in order to go select. The hyperlink button is for PDFs only. What you can do is you can highlight this, right click, and insert a hyperlink. And here you can put the link to the Benjamin Moore's website where it goes over the, the Regal Select product. Um, once you're finished putting the link in here, click OK. And you, now when the customer receives the PDF, they'll be able to click on this and it'll bring them right to Benjamin Moore's website that will explain all the wonderful qualities of Benjamin Moore's Regal Select. Um, so just keep filling out the information until the, until the um, proposal's finished. I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more things just to... Typically what I like to do is job should take about a week to complete. Um, so as you notice we're we're about halfway through with this proposal. It doesn't seem like you can put a whole lot on there. If you need to add another page, just simply click this button and we just added another page for our proposal. Um, PDF mode. So, um, obviously, this is next page, previous page. If you want to delete a page that you don't really need, you can do this, but we're going to keep it anyways. Um, 
you can also attach terms and conditions to your proposals click this button um, this is the default terms and conditions that comes with the program you can put whatever you want here as far as warranty information or any other things you want to disclose to your customers there will be a place for them to sign it that they have read it uh, just in case you know they, they say I didn't know you and I said well you read the terms and conditions you signed it so that way there's no misunderstandings as the job goes on you don't have to include this but you can if you want um, and so let's just attach that anyways and let's create our proposal and there we go we have a three page proposal the first two pages are our description of what we're going to do for the customer and then the last page it attached terms and conditions again you don't have to attach it just if, it, if you don't want to attach it, don't check that box. Um, hopefully that went over most of the stuff. I'm sure as you go along and you start goofing with it, you'll figure a few more things out. But um, that's pretty much it. This is how to create proposals using the paint estimator.